do you want to talk about um why I chose the V language or like I didn't want to get there eventually, yeah. We're almost an hour okay. in right now. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. I don't know how long you have. Like, is no, this a, no, this is good. Um, usually I usually go for like the two hour mark. That's usually my go to. Okay. Okay. Cool. Okay. Fine. Um. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't want to. I feel like we could ramble for ages. Um. <laughs> no, it's I totally know, fine. You, you you were intrigued by the V language, I remember, and you yes. said that uh, you wanted to know more about it because I feel like you hadn't heard of it before, right, or something. I went and um, um looked up some stuff afterwards, and I I must have at least come across it once or twice before i i must have blanked it out of my mind entirely but yeah I, I am curious about it okay um let me think uh so i guess i should start from just explaining why why i'm writing it sorry why i'm using me to write lily mm. um and i guess i would just say that there isn't really a good answer in in a sense like i uh i as an as a side topic i've always also been interested in well w w one of the reasons i mentioned jonathan blow for example is because i i was aware of him before jai and i've mm -hmm. you know always looked at his stuff and stuff but but i mean jai was of particular interest to me because i'm i guess i would say i'm like a language um like a if you had like a specific nerd interest hmm. like within you know within my actual special interest of programming stuff i have like another spe like a, within that i have another special interest of programming languages and mm -hmm. so i wouldn't say i've tried every single language i think i've if i've tried to become aware of every single language i can find that, that i so so at least i know that it exists and mm -hmm. and if it's like if i like the way that it looks enough or that i think the problem main that it's trying to solve is close enough to what I'm trying to do, or if I think it's interesting, I'll try it. Mm -hmm. um, and I, so that so that just means that, um, like I was saying before, I think I think the more tools that you have, mm -hmm. the, the more likely it is that you're going to find the right tool for the right job, right? Mm. And I know that that's a phrase people often say, just just as they say, "Don't reinvent the wheel." Probably the same people will also come, turn around and claim that they they use the right tool for the right job, and then immediately use the wrong tool for the for the wrong job. Well, in like the um, opposite sense of that, like you know, if <clears throat> if the only tool you have is a hammer, every problem looks like a nail. It's kind of like the the opposite approach of that, right? Yeah, I guess so. Like, um, if if all you wanted was a pristine cupboard, mm -hmm. and it's covered in nails, um, then you want tweezers? <laughs> what mm. the fuck am I all about? Sorry, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I I think I was trying to come up with a mirror analogy, but it doesn't. Yeah, work. I think you. I'm not sure what you were trying to do there, but it's because because tweezers, like yeah, we're not all pliers. I mean, pliers is all you need to do that. I guess sure. I don't know. Anyway, sorry, forget that. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> um, well, I was trying to sound profound there, wasn't I? But I didn't didn't really didn't work. Didn't work out um, that time. No. Uh, what was I saying? Okay, so so I think. Uh, it's tricky to answer because I'm, I'm kind of always again I, I, I'm trying to answer it with with keeping in mind that people are going to be like viscerally foaming at the mouth just the concept that I'm using a language that's not their favorite one or something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and so I'm trying to I'm trying to answer it. Oh, I get a lot of these people just... in my comments. Like I have a lot of Rust fans in my comments. I have a lot of Zig fans in my comments. Of course, yeah, I have a I lot of like... C fans. Yeah, I I think it's it's very much religious, isn't it? Like it's mm -hmm. it's weird and it's interesting. I think it's a shame, really. I I feel like, um, from from my my uh, like naive observations of this whole thing, it doesn't really matter in a lot of ways. Although it does at the same time. Like mm. what I'm trying to say is, it, it matters immensely that you use the right tool for the right job. Sure. The fact that someone's using a language you disagree with, that's that doesn't matter, I think, because you don't right. know what the problem is they're trying to solve. Mm -hmm. Because you're not the one trying to solve it. Um mm -hmm. and it's that what's that there's that website called um Just or something, right? There's there's yes. that I think it's a site that tries to like communicate this idea that it's a it's a it's a bad look to try and say to someone, Well, why didn't you just do this? You're struggling with this thing. You've you've told me that you're having this problem, so why didn't you just do this other thing? Mm. And and the problem with that is like, well, 
why do you think I didn't? Or, or why do you think you know enough about the problem to even suggest that kind of thing, right? Mm, mm. Um, I think it's a similar thing. Like, yeah. Um, so why, why did I use V for making Lily? Um, there isn't really a good... good of, <laughs> I mean, okay, fundamentally, I, I, I like V. Mm. Um, I, I've come from this background of having Golang, you know, a lot of Golang experience. Mm. I, my first, okay, I guess if I do, do like a story again, my, my first initial intuitive choice was to use Golang. Mm. Um, problem is, I don't feel like Golang is good for that because it, from my, um, sorry, I'm just trying to think as I, as I yeah. Golang didn't feel right mm, mm. as a choice. I, I think that Go, Go does make it easy to make servers, web servers. For sure. I think I think I think good, Golang is is very good at what it's been designed to be good at. Mm -hmm. Go is very good at making web servers and command line tools. Mm -hmm. um, and obviously, there's a good there's a quite a lot of parallel between command line tools and something like an editor, but there isn't at the same time. I think an editor is way more stateful than a regular CLI. Obviously, it's a you know it's a whole program. Mm -hmm. Sorry, of, of, well, CLIs are whole programs as well. I just I'm, what I'm trying to say is they. Um, just intuitively or like instinctually, Golang didn't feel like the good option for for this. Mm. Um, I mean, I don't really want to answer the. I could answer the question by going through all the languages and explaining why I didn't choose those. I guess I could. Let, let's try that actually because okay. that's probably a good, sure, a good way. So I I, I thought well I'm I'm experienced at Go. I know Go a lot, you know a lot. Um, I like Go. It sounds like a nice idea to use the language I enjoy mm -hmm. for a project that's that's big and potentially long running. Hopefully. Um, but I think I knew just from inst from instinct that, that it was going to be a bad choice and that I would regret it. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. There's a few different things I could probably explain in more detail in a minute if I get if I remember what they are. But there's like, yeah. Anyway, so I I don't know. I feel like I feel good when I use Go for things I feel like it's designed for, right? right. Especially concurrency things. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't feel like I felt like it was. It didn't feel like a good choice anyway. So mm -hmm. um, let's say why why didn't I choose? Um, Python. Well, I didn't choose Python because um, I'm not a Mac masochist, and I <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I I didn't choose Python because I don't like how it's not easily distributable as a as a solution. Mm. Um, and again, it doesn't really feel like a good fit for for this. Sure, sure. I didn't choose um, something else like um, you know Zig. Um, I did actually look into Zig, but I, mm. I was already quite aware of V before I tried, you know, I was already, so this is kind of like an, a, an accident in history, I suppose, but I, I actually, know, you know what, I'll talk about Rust first, because it's kind of kind okay. of slightly related to why I did Zig. So Rust, I, I don't like Rust a lot, but I also love Rust at the same time. I think okay. that the other day I was working on a... Um, Actually, this is kind of weirdly tied to what we were saying earlier before this before this whole call started. Um, you remember I mentioned about Red on Penguin? Mm. Or whatever she's called? Yeah, um, yeah. So I was watching one of her videos the other day, and she, she one of the tools she mentioned was actually very opportune for me. Um, it's called um, Pastel, and it basically is, is a cool way of being able to like um, pick colors and, and figure out like what hues are possible in your current terminal or that kind of thing. Um, okay. And I, I was looking at this feature set and thinking, you know, what would be really cool is if I could convert um, just the ANSI, like, color number into mm -hmm. RGB. That doesn't seem to be one of the options it has. And so I, I know I'll just go at it because, you know, I, I'm a developer. I can, it doesn't have a feature I want it. I'll go at it, right? Mm -hmm. um, and I was like, this is really nice. Like, Rust is, it feels cool. Like, it, it's, it, it, I, I, I mean, the hype aside, you know, it felt like a good, experience to me adding this this feature it was pretty straightforward to do didn't require much effort um didn't have to use any external tools i, I didn't use an lsp i didn't use a fancy editor or anything i just did a grep you know where is this current flag that i know of exists in the same kind of vein of what i'm trying to add and i'll add my thing next to it whatever and it was quite an easy nice experience um although at the same time i i guess i just i don't know hmm. i i I feel like Rust is too far removed from um, everything else. It, 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 mm. it has a similar problem in terms of Go, in, in that it's like its own 
its own universe in a way, right. and it has its own like way of working. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and I didn't want to. I think I had this intuitive sense that like by learning to use Rust for a problem, mm -hmm. I'm almost prescribing to solving it in the Rust way. Right. And I don't really think I agree with the way that Rust sort of gets you to inevitably solve problems in it in mm -hmm. in, a, in, the, in that way. It's like a strange mix between functional and procedural. Um, it has like a similar f sort of. It has a similar like a feel that, that JavaScript unfortunately has in that they you know they have like app paradigms, but it lives within a a procedural in space rather than it being like a, a cohesive functional experience. You know, it's mm. not it's not a functional programming language, but it's trying mm -hmm. to it's trying to be be one in a way. And and I just felt like. It's also just extra complexity that I didn't want to have to like mentally take on as baggage. Right. And the other thing is, I guess, that I felt like Rust was overkill, basically, is what I'm trying to say, I think. Like mm -hmm. it, it's it's good for I think it's very good for doing low level memory safe things. Mm -hmm. Stuff like, you know, uh, firmware drivers for pacemakers or something, right? Sure. Where I really don't want my relative to die because of a memory bug or something. Right, right. Um I don't really care about my editor crashing because of a memory bug. If anything, that's better than it staying alive and then corrupting data or something sure um so i i just felt like it wasn't a, a good the costs i felt like you would have to take on for rust weren't enough to 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 justify making an editor in it mm. but especially knowing that i already knew that v existed by that point um which i'll come to in a minute i suppose and then okay and then the other question is well, why didn't you zig because zig is like the i guess it's kind of thought of as the i don't know what the funkier Hipper, hipper cousin of of Rust now. I remember um, when um <clears throat> when Rust was first getting attention, and it was like the 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 super cool, super new language. And you know now Rust is adopted by giant companies. Everybody knows about Rust. So like the people who want to be on the hip, cool new language, then they've now all become zig shills. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, and it's and it's it's shit, right? Because it. <laughs> I guess okay. I think I sh to be honest as well. I think um, I don't know if this is probably true in the timeline of things, but mm. I guess I'm wary of hype because mm. because I, I don't know what the phrase is like. Um, just because everyone's doing something doesn't mean it's a good idea. Mm. Is, mm. is what I like. There's this idea about um, I saw someone on Twitter the other day saying something like, "If you don't agree with this particular person's point of views or like." predictions or something mm. you're not prepared for what's coming you know, it's probably some bullshit related to ai or something sure sure and i i read that and i thought well actually um you know they aren't the same thing they're not they're not parallels like mm -hmm. not not parallels isn't really the right phrase maybe but um they're not equivalents mm. like you can you can be aware of something and understand it and also not agree with it mm -hmm. right or, or you can like not agree with it and also be prepared for the future at the same time i don't know um so I guess that's part of the reason why I didn't choose Rust, precisely because maybe some things seem too good to be true. Like why, mm. you know, it's it's like I I get that it's it's very good at what it is supposed to be for, which is maybe to be used to rewrite critical applications in it or something, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, because it's a good alternative. Or you should, you know, if you, if you're working on something that that that's very secure or needs to be very secure or has like secure data in it or something. Mm -hmm. um, then, then yeah, it makes sense. Whatever, but I mean, I guess is that there's a all yeah, like there's a clear cost benefit choice to make, and I feel like the average person who isn't like rust pilled or whatever the phrase is, <laughs> it's not it's not a good tool for every situation, right? 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 right like right. I was saying before, I think there's some things that Python's amazing at and should mm -hmm. always be used for that thing. Mm -hmm. um, I think there's some things that C is amazing at and should always be used for that thing, and. You know, there's lots of different, and Zig is probably amazing at certain things as well. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I, I I know what you mean. I feel like that's something that has something to do with the choices I make. I think, um, 